Have you just launched your Google Ads campaigns, but you're seeing under the status section that it's saying learning, or maybe you just updated your bid strategy or made some major change on your campaign and it's showing the word learning and you're trying to figure out what the heck that actually means. In this video, I'm going to walk you through what the Google learning period is, what to expect, and also some tips to avoid resetting the learning period if you already have a really strong performing campaign. So I'm gonna go ahead and dive in, but before that, I wanted to quickly introduce myself. My name is Michelle. I'm the founder of Level 28 Media and I help local service-based businesses generate leads from Google Ads. So if you are interested in an audit or managed services and you're spending at least $2,000 a month, check out the link below and I'd be more than happy to have a discussion with you. Now. Let's take you through the Google Ads learning period and what to expect. Now, I have a quote here. This is from Tom Petty. The waiting is the hardest part. And it is. With Google Ads, you're investing your ad dollars because you want to see a return very quickly. But I need you to note, and Google also notes this too in their help articles, that there is a learning period when you're launching a campaign. You cannot just launch a campaign and have this expectation that it's going to start raining leads immediately. Uh, Google will need time to figure out the best way to show your ads for optimal results given the objectives and bid strategies that you've selected. And it's not going to happen overnight. So that's what I want to note here. Yes, waiting's the hardest part, but everyone has to go through it. Unfortunately, there's no shortcutting this. Um, typically, learning periods apply to campaigns using automated bid strategies or smart bidding strategies. So maximize clicks, maximize conversions, uh, target ROAS, any of those uh, smart bidding approaches that will trigger a learning period. However, what I do like to tell clients is if you are using a manual, and yes, I still do use manual on some smaller accounts that I manage. If you're using manual, there's still going to be a learning period, not necessarily with Google, but with you having to learn what the bid ceiling and bid floor is and how to adjust given the data that you're seeing in Google. So there is a learning period that with Google and the algorithm, if you are selecting a smart bidding strategy, but if you choose to go the more manual route, yes, it's more work, but you have more control over your, your budget and your bids, then you will need the time to learn as well. Um, the next thing that I want to say about the learning period is the campaign or portfolio needs time to recalibrate towards the goal whenever you set it. So if you just launched a campaign and there's really no conversion data or nothing to go off of, it's going to need to learn. And if you already have a campaign that's already running and already generating lots of quality conversions coming through, if you reset your uh, learning period, and I'm going to talk about what actually resets a learning period in a bit. Google's going to need time to recalibrate because if you've adjusted your target CPA, if you adjusted your portfolio bid strategies, it's going to need time to recalibrate given the settings and the new goals that you've set for it. It doesn't just happen overnight, and it's going to need some time to see if it can find the best quality conversions given the constraints that you've given it. You can check your status to see if the campaigns are showing as eligible and learning. Um, that will show you if the campaign's in learning phase, and typically it will say like five days left for, left for learning, four days left for learning, and so forth, to show you how much time is um, that Google's anticipating for its learning period. Now, big question that I get, what affects the duration of the learning period? Because the learning period, it can vary in terms of the amount of time. I get this question a lot. How long does it take? Well, it depends on these three factors. Number one is number of conversions in your campaign, um, ad groups, keywords, or products. Um, if you're running Google Shopping, duration of your conversion cycle, how long does it take to actually convert this click to a conversion? That plays a huge factor in the learning period. And then the bid strategy. The bid strategy is what you select to 
allow Google to use its, you know, bidding algorithm to go out and win the specific auctions or try to get, um, you know, leads or ROAS at a specific point. Um, like I had mentioned earlier, right here, it says five days left for learning. When you hover over the status within your uh, Google Ads uh, campaign, uh, you'll see that it's eligible. If it's not, it'll say not eligible, but then it will show you that there's five days left left for learning, or how many ever, uh, how many um, other days, how many days are actually left, and show you so that you know exactly how long you really need to be waiting. Um, so that's that. How long does it take? Typically, um, I see it take seven to 10 days, but I've seen it also take up to two to three weeks. If you're we're working with a brand new objective, then, and it's a brand, net, brand new net new Google Ads account with no conversion data, probably two to three weeks. It can be faster if you have more conversion data present. I see most of the time seven to 10 business days. So use that as a general rule of thumb as you are optimizing your campaigns. And if you see performance declining during a learning period, don't freak out because the, the new constraints that you've put on Google are making it a little more difficult and Google's gonna have to relearn given the constraints that you've put and the updates that you've made. Now, what to avoid? What actually resets the learning period in Google? Budget swings. So let's say having your budget go from $10 to $100. Like when I say swings, I'm talking about like massive changes in the budget. I'm talking about more than 20% changes. That will reset your learning period. Another big um, thing that will reset a learning period and what to avoid if you are currently in a learning period is resetting your bid strategy again. If you were resetting your bid strategy again during a learning period, that's gonna reset the learning period. So everything listed here is what you should avoid during a learning period or, some, or it's also something that will completely reset a learning period. Add changes. Ad changes, <clears throat> this is something that um, I don't see affecting it as much, but if you really just want to play it safe, don't make any changes during this, this uh, time period. Um, audience changes as well, conversion goal updates, this is a big one. Um, if you're making conversion goal updates, it can um, have an effect as well. But I would say the biggest things that are going to going to throw things back into a learning period loop is going to be the budget swings and bid strategy updates. But if you want to play it safe, avoid these other ones as well. Try very hard not to make major campaign updates um, or it will reset the learning phase. And at most, if you have to, because you are running um, a campaign that's very, um, what's the word? that needs to be changed pretty often because of budget pacing and so forth, or the, the budgets need to be switched pretty um, consistently, only adjust your budgets up to 20% increments to avoid resetting the learning phase. If you're adjusting it any more than 20%, it's going to, it's going to cause a big swing and affect the learning phase. I put a little meme here of Yoda. He says, patience you must have. I can't tell you how many times I've even fallen for this where I'm running a campaign and it's going really well and then I reset the bid strategy from maximize conversions without a target CPA and then uh, put a target CPA on it and then all of a sudden Google just stops spending. And for one or two days, I kind of have a freak out moment, but I know that there's a learning period that it's going through but it's just very unusual that sometimes when you're going through a learning period, Google will just stop spending. It will stop delivering. Or conversely, it will overspend to try to adjust to the, the, the goals that you set to it. So don't freak out if just a few days pass by and it doesn't, it 
it doesn't really um, perform well or it drops off, that is completely normal, but give it some time to really adjust. And if it's not meeting the criteria that you're looking for, make some adjustments to go back. And when you're making changes, don't make too many big changes at once. Um, that's going to cause, you know, resetting the learning phase. And then if for some reason your performance isn't as good as it was before, you're going to have to backtrack and then reset the learning phase again. Um, so I will admit I've fallen, you know, into this where I made changes and then I'm wondering what the heck happened? Why is it not spending? Because you would think that if you are spending consistently $5,000 a day and then you remove a target CPA, then Google should go ahead and spend your budget to meet maximize conversions and maximize the number of conversions you're getting. But when it stops spending, that's when you kind of question like, oh, did I do something wrong? But you didn't necessarily do anything wrong. It's just the Google learning period needing some time to recalibrate. So that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. And, you know, if you are facing some challenges where your performance is kind of slipping and you're wondering if, oh, you just need to give it some more time, you probably do need to give it some more time. Um, but if you just made some changes like within the last few days, before you start freaking out about performance. Um, if you found this video helpful, I would love it if you could give it a thumbs up and please leave a comment below on the biggest thing that you learned from this video. And please subscribe to this channel. I post videos about Google ads every week and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thank you.